The fact is that there is something going on which we have to identify. It is an, attack, an attempt in our societies to make Islam, and in particular the founder Islam, immune from any criticism. It cannot be allowed to continue. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be checking out another debate uh, where Douglas Murray is one of the speakers titled Should the Media Publish Satrika Cartoons? Wow. I believe that this is going to be very educative. Let's start with the video. Go. In this classic interview, Douglas Murray absolutely dismantles an Islamic extremist and exposes him on live television. Douglas Murray did not hold back. Watch and let me know what you think. I don't, I don't kill, killing people for, for disagreeing with me, but neither am I going to support a racist who goes around demonizing millions of people. Douglas Murray, do you think these... D Douglas Murray, let's bring you in now. Sorry. These cartoonists, do you think they were racists? Could I please come in and correct? You've given goodness knows how much time to this extremist, Ashgab Bukhari, to have his say. Could I please now have my say about this? It's only 24 hours since a dozen people were gunned down in their offices in Paris. It's really rich that Sky News should be giving this platform at this moment We're giving to this you your man platform, who, who sir. Do give yes, us your view. But who, uh, you've also allowed to just smear the people who were murdered so brutally in Paris yesterday. You've just allowed them to smear those people as racists. Don't me. Charlie Hebdo, don't, Charlie don't, Hebdo please, let please, me don't. please finish my point. Charlie Hebdo, you don't know this, like you don't know any of the background of this, Ashka, but Charlie Hebdo is a secularist, far-left wing, anti-racist magazine. It has made a particular delight in recent years, quite rightly, of lampooning and attacking very virulently rubbish. the far-right wing leader Marine Le Pen. You say rubbish because rubbish. you don't know what you're talking yes, about. Let me make the more a, important a, a, point on this. Let me make the more important point on this. Let me make the more important point on this. Let me make the important point on this, which is that this is not to do with the war on terror, as Asghar Bukhari wants to talk about. This is about freedom of speech. Please, but more please, let, please let him speak. Politics. Sorry, More sorry, importantly, Douglas, you have been massively diverted in this programme from what has actually happened and why. What is going on at the moment worldwide, and particularly in Europe, is an attempt to shut down any and all criticism of Islam, one religion alone. I'll hold up for a moment. Don't worry, it's not a cartoon of Mohammed. You don't have to get scared. This is the Christmas edition of Private Eye, uh, an, issue, an, an image which on the front cover lampoons, and quite rightly, quite amusing, not very, uh, uh, the Virgin Mary and Jesus and has various jokes about about where the frankincense should have been bought from and so on. That's perfectly commonplace. But you know what? If anyone had gone into private eyes offices yesterday and massacred the staff because of it in the name of Christianity or Jesus, I think that not only would all of the papers today have been a lot more robust, they would have shown at the very least shown this image to show what the person was who did the killing was so irate about. The fact is that there is something going on which which we have to identify. It is an, attack, an attempt in our societies to make Islam, and in particular the founder Islam, immune from any criticism. It cannot be allowed to continue. Douglas Murray's argument is based on the radicalization of Islam in the West, whereby any and every criticism of Islam or the founder of Islam is viewed as Islamophobia. Criticism of Islam or Islamic extremist groups does not mean criticism of all Muslim people. The same way people have their right to criticize Christianity, there should not be a double standard when it comes to Islam in the West. Openly condemning extremism sends a powerful message that violence and hate have no place in any society. It also supports moderate voices within the Muslim community, empowering them to speak out and act against radical elements. When extremists are openly denounced, it helps to marginalize their influence and disrupt their recruitment narratives. A study by the Institute for Strategic Dialogue highlights the role of social media platforms in enabling extremist narratives to spread more quickly and widely than ever before, often with little to no immediate counteraction. We saw this recently with many young people across the West showing support for Osama bin Laden because of a letter that started trending on TikTok. This makes it more important than ever for voices like that of Douglas Murray to stand up and defend Western values before it's too late. Wow. What an uh, interesting debate, uh, uh, which the title states, uh, should the media uh, publish satirical cartoons? And based on uh, the facts and the points uh, Douglas Murray have stated uh, in this video, his argument, based on his argument, that this is an attempt uh, to make, uh, to radicalize Islam uh, in the West, 
whereby Islam uh, is immune from uh, criticism, whereby uh, even the founder of Islam uh, is immune to criticism. According to uh, Douglas Murray, according to the point he have, have stated, that the same way uh, people criticize uh, Christianity, there should not be any double standard. There should not be any double standard uh, uh, in Islam. And he, he openly condemned extremism that violence and hate has no place uh, in the society. And I think I kind of uh, relate uh, with Douglas Murray point. Violence and hate has no place uh, in the society. And I believe uh, 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 the acts should be totally should, uh, should be totally condemned. People who engage uh, in this act in uh, in this act they should be they should be condemned. You see, when people uh, say something ab uh, against uh, Islam or uh, against uh, the founder founder of Islam, uh, the Muslim tend to call it that the person is being uh, uh, Islam Islamophobic. The person is being Islamophobic, and which is not true. Criticism against uh, Islam is not criticism against uh, criticism against Islam. It's not criticism against uh, all the Muslims. Just like Douglas Murray has rightly uh, stated in this video that the same way uh, 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 people uh, people criticize uh, Christianity, there should not be any double standard uh, for Islam. Islam also should be should be open to uh, discussion. Should be open to debate. People should have their their right. And uh, people should have their rights, and each, uh, all those all, all the people uh, that try to you know uh, go extreme by you know killing killing people just because uh, they felt uh, they say uh, they said something against Islam. I feel that art should be uh, that art should be should, is totally wrong. That art should be uh, that art is totally wrong. If you are trying to uh, 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 a resort to violence because uh, someone said something against against your religion. I believe you are trying to uh, take away uh, the freedom of speech from the person. Everyone has their freedom of speech. Everyone has their freedom of speech. But I don't think uh, uh, you should resort to violence or, or hate speech uh, uh, just because someone said something uh, against just because someone said something against your religion. I believe uh, that is uh, totally wrong. That's what uh, Douglas Murray is trying to is trying to uh, address uh, in this video. That Islam that they are trying to uh, radicalize uh, Islam in the West, whereby uh, criticism against Islam or founder of Islam uh, uh, is 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 view of is view as Islamophobic, and that is totally wrong. I believe everyone has their freedom of speech. Everyone has their freedom of speech. Their freedom of speech should, uh, can, uh, should not be taken away from them. That's what Douglas Murray, the point Douglas Murray is trying to uh, uh, state uh, in this video. I, for one, uh, I'm not. I'm not in support. Uh, people, people should. Uh, uh, someone should condemn. Uh, 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 someone, someone, someone should condemn Islam or someone should condemn Christianity. I'm not. I'm not in support of that. I believe that is. That is totally wrong. Uh, that is totally wrong. But I also believe that it should be open for criticism. If people see something that they feel uh, uh the feel is not right, they should uh they sh they should be, they, they should be uh they should be free to express uh to express their opinion and they sh uh, it shouldn't resort to uh, violence. It shouldn't resort to hate speech just because someone said uh something about uh Islam or something about uh. Christianity and you decide to uh, harm the person, I believe that is totally wrong. That's the fact Douglas Murray is trying to uh, state in this video that is Islamic extremism should be condemned because violence and hate speech has no place in the society. I've really learned a lot uh, just listening to Douglas Murray and the fact he has mentioned in this video. I've really learned a lot from him. And I also like to hear your comments. Don't forget Click on the subscribe button, click on the like button. Do have a nice day.